black, red, the truly wicked, we're Lavender. Beast Wars second, Galvatron, today on World of Stuff. Okay, let's start off in Dragon Mode here, where things are incredibly bizarre. Because we have some wings right here, but we also have some other epic shoulder pads right here. And yes, that is gold plastic. And it is gold plastic you have to worry about. Ironically, this isn't the part you have to worry about, because I had to put those on manually. No, the part you have to worry about is the feet. Because as soon as I got this out of the box and I started transforming it, this happened. Now granted it isn't as bad on mine as it could be, but still it can produce some structural and support issues. Just keep that in mind. But getting back to the robot itself, well, the dragon itself. See some rather, well, kind of unavoidable kibble there. But still, a very nice presentation, and there's actually a couple ways you can support pose this figure. Standing like this, which I prefer, then there's the instructions which kind of have you doing that, sitting down. Now granted, he is a space pirate and a gangster. That's gangster, not gangsta. So, imagine this is kind of how they'd imagine their gangsters to be, just kind of sitting down waiting for... Someone to screw up so they can slap them. Oh. Or, if you so choose, have him breathing fire. Yay. Alright, now they got the beast mode covered. We're going to cover the uh, vehicle mode. The popular non-vehicle mode of Japan, the drill tank. Anyway, we'll start by moving this part to the front of the head. Twisting this part around. Straining the neck out, and then collapse and combine. There we go. Yeah, it's already kind of looking a little strange, isn't it? Anyway, we'll start the feet now. Take this part out, fold out what will be the robot feet for later. Fold that out. You're now fold in. Then we will fold this part back in on itself. Very nice. Repeat on the other leg. Making certain to miss the Gatling knees there. It's in all of the modes, so it's not that big a deal. A little silly, but it's still not a big deal. Anyway, we'll fold back the arms. Well, what should be the arms. Okay, that, that does come off, so that does play an important part into the robot mode later. And we will separate the hip assembly from part right here, fold this part out, then bring these two parts together and twist the legs so that it goes like this, like that, because there's a little peg here that this little port goes into. <clears throat> of course, it also helps when you Bring both the hip assemblies together. Come on. There we go. Then clip in the waist piece right here. Then plug into that. Then we will fold these parts down. And there we go. Drill tank. I told you it was ridiculous. Now, in vehicle mode, he does have little wheels that allow him to coast along on a flat surface, which is nice. He also has... Now, don't laugh. I know what some of you are going to be thinking when I do this, but it's not what it's intended to do. We push down this plunger here, and... Yes, it spins. It spins, Billy. I'll give you a minute. Well, we've seen the odd beast mode and the incredibly odd vehicle mode. That really just leaves the robot mode, doesn't it? We will start by folding these parts up and back this way. And folding those back that way. That does come into play later, trust me. Anyway, we'll fold up these parts again. Then bring back down the legs. Unpegging this part. 
fold up down the feet. This this little uh, groove right here puts that part into place. So if it is broken, it will stay put. That's why I'm not too worried about it. But it might be a problem for you. Again, GPS, nothing you can do about that. Repeat on the other leg. There we go. Oh yes, bring down the Gatling knees. Very important. They are a major design, like it or not. And... Yeah. Anyway, we'll then twist this around. No, we won't, because first we got to split the tail. Eventually. The tail is a really secure part, so you don't have to worry too much about that part. Okay, we'll then fold this part down. Then fold this part down. Yeah, that's a lot of kibble. No real escape in that. Then we'll bring the head out. Oh. You want to these arms this way there we go then you can do that then you're unobscured to put the shoulders in like so then we will fold this part in then we will twist around now we're getting somewhere okay then we will twist up fold in twist around arm one there we go that's more secure and repeat and there we go Beast Wars second Galvatron robot mode if that excites you now you have some very interesting weapon choices with this figure because you have these parts right here which are first in robot mode handheld axes very interesting if a little strange you can also and this is official. Fold back the tail parts and reinstall the, these as launching weapons. <clears throat> yes. Another option, fold these back for the hands. Remove the wing section here. Fold inward and fold out and around like that for a grabber claw which does work just push in this part insert it into the hand and although very heavy does still work it's ridiculous I know but you can do it and these are official mind you as for articulation robot mode his head does swivel arms go forward and back it would be a fall through 60, but the uh, wing pack kind of gets in the way. The arms go out. Elbow joint. Wrist swivel. Very nice. Waist swivel. Semi joint on the uh, ratchet joint on the hip there goes outward. Also have a th upper thigh swivel. N very nice ratcheting knee joint. And the uh, feet kind of go nowhere. But, considering under the circumstances, you have to accept that. Now, some of you are wondering, how does this compare to the Classics Universe Galatron? It really doesn't. How do I know that? That's how I know. Yeah, feel free to pause this and really take in what you're seeing here. One note I should probably make is that this is the Korean version. Though I imagine it doesn't make a big difference. You're far more likely to find the Korean version than the Japanese version anyway. I got this from Big Bad Toy Store. They still have a selection of them. Although, you do have to take into effect that GPS may be a factor regardless of the one you get. But still... If you're into something this esoteric and interesting, you can't go wrong with this. And it is a triple changer. A very odd one, but it is a triple changer nonetheless. Well, that wraps up this review. I am the Deceptive Wolf. This has been Beast Wars 2nd Galvatron. And I bid you all good night.